Hey, Composer Gloves here, and today we're going to be doing an exercise. It's a voicing exercise. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of composition. We are going to identify some errors and also a fair amount of analysis. You probably, well, we haven't. We haven't done an analysis exercise this intense yet. So um, what I'm going to do here is I want you to give a solid go at analyzing this. You're going to come across chords that you're just like, I, I don't know what this chord is and stuff like that. You're just going to be like, I don't know what this is. And so for those, um, just go ahead and move on. Just just ignore them. And so what we have here is we have analyze the following using chord symbols. So you're going to use chord symbols. Bass position. So you're going to use figure bass. And Roman analysis. So you're going to, you know, Roman analysis, bass position, chord symbols, all the standard works. You're familiar with all these things. And remember, working in a key, so you got to work in that key. Include an O for open voicing and C for closed voicing. So that now that I just put in, in the answers key, I just put that in the middle, right? So this here, well, that's closed voicing. So I put control T and I put a C there for close. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. And you're going to do all every single chord all the way through. Um, there are some things you can sort of ignore. I'm going to let you decide where those are. You can compare it against my answer key and uh, see what you cook up. Uh, do your figure base, all that stuff. So this is just this is going to be a lot more intense. I'm actually going to do a video where we look at the answers because there's a couple interesting things I want you to learn. But this is another hymn. It says, How long, O Lord, most holy and true? And so here is what it sounds like. The Fermata doesn't work there, so I wanted to stop it there before it goes on to the next thing. So anyways, yeah, we're going to be doing that. And remember, when we're analyzing, we're doing this to learn something. So you should have realizations. You should be like, wow, this is a 6-4 chord followed by this chord. That sounds really, you know, not done or it sounds like this. You know, you want to start recognizing things. If you had to discover harmony and you had all these excellent examples going on, how would you figure it out? Well, you'd analyze a bunch of stuff. So this is sort of the beginning of that. And when you come across something you don't know, well, th well, think it, think about it. You know, if I'm in this key, what makes the most sense? Um, and a, a quick tip, if you're unsure, look at where it resolves to. That often helps clarify. Well, not often. That's like how you clarify what do you use? What's like the like the correct way? Well, look to where it resolves. And uh, yeah, so I'll, give, I'll let you give this a fair go. And then I'll talk about things. I made a couple notes on mine. I encourage you to make notes on yours. If you say, well, this is an interesting thing I'm noticing. Make a note of it. Uh, it's, that's called learning. This should not be like an assignment where it's like, oh, the instructor, I have to turn this in for a grade, yada, yada, yada. These are valuable tools used to learn new things. So I want you to do a little bit of self-discovery here. You should be analyzing things all the time on your own. But go ahead, give it a go. This is when, you, when you're new to analyzing, and I'm, I'm okay at it. And, uh, you know, sometimes it takes me a while to figure out how a chord fits in in the texture exactly like i'm like oh what would you call this sometimes it takes a bit it's not bad just uh yeah give it a solid go i'm excited to see what you do down here we have okay so this is something i just sort of whipped together and there there are problems all over this thing there's so many problems um i just want you to be aware of them and point them out just discover them on your own uh spacing problems maybe you know like this this looks like it's spaced too far apart. Let's check. Oh yeah, that's more than an octave. So this is that's wrong right there. That's not that shouldn't be there. Uh, this here, these stems are the wrong way. That's not good. You know, give it a give it a go. My answer key actually just says this just looks wrong. Okay, it's off putting. If you put this in front of someone to play, they'd be like, what is going on here? Like it's just it'd be more difficult to sight read. It's just a weird deal. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead, find those things, figure them all out. And then finally, we have fill in the alto and tenor voices in the progression. 
Don't worry about any rules we haven't talked about yet. Just be musical. So you probably heard about parallel fifths and octaves and stuff. Don't worry about it. Okay. I didn't sweat it. I think there, I think I didn't look, um, I mean, I avoided them generally, but I'm sure there's something somewhere that just cause I didn't look as detailed as I should have. The point is we're going to be musical and here, um, a lot of students get stuck. So what I've given you here is I've given you the chords down here and the melody and the bass. And all you have to do is fill in the middle. So I got to so go ahead and do that. So, you know, just as an example, it, let's not get too crazy here, but let's, uh, let's look here. So we say two, two sharps, first notes D let's just work in D major, you know? So here we are in D major. I should have written that for you, but we're in D major. So I say, well, I've got a D in the bass and a D in the melody. So I'm missing an A and an F sharp, right? So I say, oh, well, um, I want to, we do want to obey the rules we do know. But don't worry about the ones you don't know. So we say, okay, we'll put an F sharp here. Oh, it's diatonically F sharp. My bad. And then we'll put an A. Oh, that's uh, there's an error here. This should be on part two, right? So we put an A. In fact, uh, no, it's got to be an F sharp. It has to be an F sharp, right? Because an A would be too far away. And thus we did an A here. And then over here, we want to be on part one. I want, well, I don't have an A, so let's put an A. Oops, I want to be on part two still. Oh, this is something I noticed I did wrong. I, this is really quick. I want to show you a quick trick. So this is all on voice, um, voice one, right? And so that's a problem, right? Because our stems should be going the other way. Because my tenor is going to go in here. And since this is the bass. So I need this to be on um, voice two. Because when I insert voice one, it'll make them all go down. So if you ever accidentally do that, select them. Go to tools. View, where are you? Notes, view. Oh, I'm thinking tools. What the heck am I thinking tools? Edit, tools. Yeah, I knew I was thinking tools. Um, underneath tools, there's one called voices. Exchange voice one and two. It'll do it on your selection. So we want them to be swapped. So now these are all on voice two. And so now we can add in our voice one. Hit no entry, we want an A. So there you go, we have our first chord. And it's great. D major. And then we say, okay, two chord. Well, two chord, um, I didn't put the inversions down here. Generally, when you're sketching an idea, you know, the, obviously your bass is in the position it's in. So why bother, you know, beating a dead cat? So we say, all right, this is E. And I think the two chord, well, that's an E minor chord. So we need an E, G, B. And so I say, all right, well, there's a G right here. And there's a B right here. Um and that's good. Oh, wait, let's uh, put it on the correct voice. B. So we have our first two chords. And then away you go. And so I do provide an example, but obviously there are, you could have made a different choice. Just keep in mind the voicing and um, yeah, just get the voicing and the stems in the right direction and, and you'll be good to go. So that is that. That's this exercise. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.